Hello, today we're going to do a short tour of the Santa Monica College Library catalog in order to find information about fairy tales. In order to do that, from the school homepage, you mouse over student services and find the library between health and well-being and the police. Click on the library and it will open up a number of different ways that you could do this search. You could go into the library catalog or you could go into OneSearch. Most students tend to go to OneSearch, so that's the one I'm going to show you. From here, say I'm interested in Grimm's fairy tales. I spell it right. That's always good. And when I search it out, I notice I get close to 2,000 results. But that's not the first thing I want to look at. Instead, I want to look up here. When I click on the drop-down menu, it gives me three options. Articles, books, and more is literally everything in a combined database. So it's stuff at other places, it's stuff online, it's occasionally even stuff you can't actually access. So be careful with this. This is your, where you go for database articles. Um, one way to do it. But today we're not looking for that. We're not looking for textbooks on reserve either. We're looking for books and videos that are actually owned by the Santa Monica College Library. So when you click on books and videos on library shelves and redo your search, it goes down to 36 results, much more specific. From here, I can scroll through and take a look. I can click Held by the Library to ensure that I get a print book and not an ebook, or if I want both, I can leave that alone. I can give it a publication date. I can even look at specific subjects. So maybe I'm really interested in fairy tales, history, and criticism. I can click on that subject and it will remove any results that are not specifically on that topic. When I look through here, some of these have multiple versions. I would want to click on this link to figure out which ones. Some of them are ebooks, the Cambridge Companion to Fairy Tales that you'll see actually in a separate search under databases and some of them are in print and you can tell they're in print because they have a call number. So if I see something that I like I click on the title and it will pop up a screen. Right at the very top it will tell me this book is currently available at the main library so we have more than one library this is not at Bundy it's not at CMD it's at the main campus. It's in stacks which means I can check it out and take it home and this is the call number of the book. A call number is like an address for a book. The first letter number combination is the subject area, in this case, fairy tales. The next part identifies this specific work. And the last part says when the book was actually published. I scroll down and it will tell me more information about the book. A little bit about what's in it, how long it is, who published it, Oxford University Press. And to get this book, I just head into the library, go downstairs to the G section, and go alphanumerically to find the book. In order to get back to my results, I simply close this top screen out, and I'm back where I began. If you need any assistance, we have 24-7 Ask a Librarian Reference Chat. And if you are in the library and are having problems finding the book, come to the reference desk on the first floor directly in front of you as you walk in the front doors, and a librarian will be happy to help you. Good luck!